This is one of the best Jackal PDW classes in Black Ops 6. For the muzzle, you want to run the compensator. For the barrel, you want to run long barrel. For the under barrel, you want to run vertical foregrip. For the rear grip, we're going to be having the ergonomic grip on. And then for the stock, you want to run the balanced stock. Now, if we give it a test in the range, I will say this gun has a little bit of recoil, but the good part about it is it does feel very consistent. So even if you're trying to hit shots at longer ranges like this out at 50 meters, um, it's pretty controllable. As you can see right there, I hit pretty much every single shot. This build also has very solid mobility, but let's go ahead and give it the good old recoil test. This is without controlling it whatsoever. As you can tell, especially from the first few shots there, it's very just vertical and easy to control. So now I'm going to do my best to control it and we'll see what that looks like. And it looks pretty good. Yeah, this is a really easy to control uh, recoil pattern um, overall. This is currently one of the best overall guns you can use in Black Ops 6. This is the best C9 SMG loadout. So for the muzzle, you want the suppressor. Uh, for the barrel, we're going to run the long barrel. Under barrel, you want to look for the Ranger foregrip, which is the last one. Um, and then for rear grip, we're going to run the Commando grip. And then finally, fire mods, you want to run rapid fire. Now, if we test this in the range real quick, the time to kill on it feels very good. I will say the range doesn't feel great just because, as you can tell, the recoil does jump a little bit with those uh, with that rapid fire mod. It does jump around a little bit, um, but you're going to get a very good, quick time to kill and a pretty mobile gun at that. Now, if we go ahead and test the recoil here first, I'm not going to control it. And that's actually the worst one I've tested so far. Uh, that's actually go that actually goes pretty crazy. It's definitely controllable, but definitely something to keep in mind if you're a low recoil type of player might want to try another build but let me go ahead and see how i can control this i've never really used this gun in game yet um but really that's not too bad i mean for as crazy of recoil as it is you know i wouldn't say it's like impossible to control but again the farther range you try to shoot with this thing you are going to have some issues so definitely a more close range aggressive style of gun this is the best model l class setup in black ops 6 for the optic we're going to be running the AccuSpot Reflex, this is just personally my favorite, but run whatever you like. Um, for the muzzle, we're going to run the Compensator. For the underbarrel, we're going to run the Vertical Foregrip. For the rear grip, we're going to run Commando Grip. And then finally, for the Fire Mod, you want to run Recoil Springs. Now let's go ahead and shoot it in the range. Now this gun, I will say, I've been very pleasantly surprised at how smooth the recoil is and just consistent this gun feels it feels very very low recoil and easy to control and also feels pretty fast time to kill feels pretty decent as well so definitely an ar to give a try if you haven't already let's go ahead and take a look at the actual recoil so first i'm not going to control it at all and wow yeah that really does not go up at all this might be one of the lower recoil guns i've actually tested now let's go ahead and see how well i can actually control it and yeah, that's that's probably top three and lowest recoil guns that I've tested so far. This is currently one of the best KSV SMG loadouts or builds in Black Ops 6. For the muzzle, you're going to run the suppressor. For the barrel, we're going to run the long barrel. For the under barrel, we're going to run the ranger foregrip. And then for the rear grip, we're going to run the commando grip. And then finally, for the fire mod, we're going to run the recoil springs because this gun does have a little bit of kick. If we take this gun into the range, it feels very controllable at the closer ranges. Once you get out to medium and far range with this build, it is a little bit hard to control, um, but it's very mobile and it honestly feels like an AK-74U, but with a faster fire rate. So that's where you get that extra recoil because it does have a quite fast fire rate, but definitely fun gun to use and run a gun. Now we'll do a recoil test. First is me not controlling it whatsoever. As you can tell it goes up into the ceiling which is pretty high one of the higher ones i've tested so far now we're going to see how well i can actually control it not too bad it goes a little bit left and right but up close it's definitely pretty good this is currently one of the best lw3 a1 frostline sniper rifle class setups in black ops 6. For the magazine you want to run the fast mag for the comb you want to run the quick draw riser for the stock we're going to be running the combat stock this is going to give you a lot of flinch resistance which is going to be very very good for the laser you definitely want to make sure you unlock this target laser this is going to make you so much more accurate when you are quick scoping in particular but really sniping in general and then finally for the fire mod we're going to be running rapid fire now if we take this into the range you can see that it's a crisp one hit to the chest or upper torso for the most part if I hit a guy in the leg like that, it's going to get a hit marker, so make sure you are aiming high. The ADS speed does feel pretty good overall. It doesn't feel like the fastest thing I've ever used, but it's definitely plenty fast enough to quickscope even the most cracked of players. 
Now it's a sniper, so we can't really do a recoil test like I usually do, but I will just kind of give you um, some more clean views of how fast this ADS time is. It's really quite fast. Again, with these new games, you do need to actually scope in like pretty much all the way before you can actually hit the target accurately. And that's where this target laser attachment comes in because whenever you aim in, it's actually usually gonna be aimed in right about where you actually are aiming your reticle. Um, whereas otherwise you're gonna have a little bit of idle sway uh, whenever you aim in. So it's definitely good to have that target laser. It's pretty much a must have attachment for snipers in this game. This is currently the best meta AEK973 marksman rifle class setup for Black Ops 6. For the optic, we're gonna be running the Kepler Microflex, but run whatever optic you personally like. For the barrel, we're gonna run the long barrel. For the under barrel, we're gonna be running the vertical foregrip. Um, and then for the rear grip, we're gonna be running the quick draw grip. And then finally for the fire mod, we are going to be running rapid fire. Now this gun honestly just feels like an AK, except it's a three round burst. And the damage feels quite high on this as it does for most marksman rifles. Um, and it feels like it's probably a pretty consistent two burst, even at longer ranges. So if you're somebody that's looking for a burst rifle that kills in about two bursts maximum, um, then this is definitely the gun for you. I'm sure if you get some close range headshot bursts uh, and hit all three shots, you can probably get some one, one burst kills as well. In terms of recoil, I don't expect it to be too bad. First, I'm just gonna spam the burst without actually doing much and yeah i mean it, it really doesn't move uh there's really not much to test here i'm just gonna go ahead and shoot here and try to control it honestly the more i try to control it the more recoil it has i mean really just pull down just a tiny bit and this gun basically has no recoil this is currently the best overall xm4 class setup for the optic this is more optional but i'm going to recommend uh one of the cleaner sites is the accuspot reflex uh for the muzzle you want the ported compensator for the underbarrel, vertical foregrip. Uh, for the rear grip, commando grip. And then you want to come over here to fire mods and get rapid fire. Now let's go ahead and give it a test in the range. I can kill these bots pretty easily. The recoil, I will say, on this build is on the high side a little bit for a meta build. Um, but your time to kill with that rapid fire is going to be much, much better. So if you're more of a run and gun style player, this is definitely a good gun for you. And finally, we'll do a recoil test. This is without controlling it whatsoever. You can tell it goes a little bit crazy. Now if I aim right for the center and try to control it, it's still pretty controllable overall. This is the best PP919 class setup in Black Ops 6. For the muzzle, we're gonna run the compensator. For the magazine, we're gonna be running the Fast Mag 2. For the rear grip, we're gonna be running the ergonomic grip. For the stock, we're gonna be running the balanced stock. And then finally for the fire mod, we're gonna be running recoil springs. Now testing this gun, I will say I personally like these iron sights, but also I really like the consistency that this gun seems to have. The reload is pretty quick with this fast mag too, and you do get 40 bullets and the fire rate is pretty slow on it. So you can actually uh, get a lot of kills even with 40 bullets and still have that quick reload, which is really nice. The recoil also feels extremely manageable, even at longer ranges like that bot out there at 50 it feels pretty easy to kill now let's go ahead and give it the recoil test first i'm not going to control it at all and you can definitely tell it doesn't have too much recoil it does go a little bit left and then hits hard right but it's not too bad now let's see how well i can actually control it and yeah that's pretty good that's probably top five lowest recoil guns i've tested so far this is currently one of the best ak-47 class setups you can have in black ops 6 so for the optic i'm going to be running the accuspot reflex but this is pretty much personal preference of whatever optic you like. Uh, for the muzzle, we're gonna run the suppressor. For the underbarrel, we're gonna run the vertical foregrip. For the rear grip, you wanna run the commando grip. And then finally for the fire mod, we're gonna run the recoil springs because this gun does have a little bit of kick. If we take this gun into the firing range, it feels quite good. The damage is definitely pretty high on the AK overall. The recoil, like I said, does go a little bit crazy, but with the recoil springs, you can control it pretty well at the closer and even medium ranges. At long range, you are gonna have a little bit of trouble sometimes um, with the way it bounces around, but with the high damage, you can definitely get some kills pretty easily still, especially if you're on controller with some aim assist. Now let's give it a recoil test versus without controlling it whatsoever. And it's pretty modest, really not too bad for a slower fire rate weapon. Now we're gonna actually try to control it and see how well I can do. And that's pretty good. That's actually one of the better ARs I've tested in terms of holding a tight spread. This is currently one of the best meta AS Val loadouts in Black Ops 6. For the underbarrel, we're gonna run the vertical foregrip. Uh, for the magazine, you do wanna run the extended mag two, and I'll show you why later. Um, for the rear grip, we're gonna run the assault grip. And then for the stock, we're gonna run the balanced stock. And then finally for the fire mod, 
we're gonna run recoil springs. And when I took this into the range, the very first thing I noticed is how low a recoil it has for the fast fire rate. This gun feels very, very smooth and it's honestly one of the better feeling guns I've tested. And it really just has a considerable amount of low recoil for how fast this fire rate is. So I can imagine the time to kill is gonna be pretty darn good on this build. It's also just incredibly fun to use because of how smooth it is. And I personally really like these iron sights. And as you can tell, even at this longer range, I can actually almost kill that far bot pretty easily. But the reason you want this extended mag two is because with that faster fire rate, you are gonna burn through ammo quicker, especially if you're out there trying to get a lot of kills. Now let's go ahead and do the good old recoil test. First is without me controlling it at all. It looks like it goes crazy, but the fact that it has a fast fire rate makes it more controllable, I feel like. Because now I'm gonna actually try to control it and we'll see what I can do. And honestly feels smoother than this test looks, I will say. Um, for whatever reason that is, but let me try it one more time actually for science sake. Okay, yeah, it looks like it bounces around a lot, but for some reason, I guess just with the aim assist on the bots, it really feels like it just locks on and maybe it's just a fast time to kill, I don't know, but I do really love this build. But thanks for watching, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.